This course has covered a lot of basic concepts of the SMED system of changeover reduction. However, practically applying these concepts relies on the use of techniques such as quick connectors and job cards. This video will cover techniques and provide examples regarding internal activities and how they may be simplified or eliminated. Internal activities are dominated by waste related to attaching, setting, and adjusting machines. In most internal changeovers, an item, such as a die or cutting blade, is attached to the machine by a series of bolts or screws. Operators must adjust and align the part to the proper position. Quite often, a series of test runs are performed and additional tweaking or adjusting may need to occur. You can break these kinds of activities down to attaching, setting, and tweaking. In each one of these categories, there are useful techniques that can reduce or eliminate waste. The first categories of attaching or removing machine parts can be simplified with the use of quick connection devices. Useful and common quick connection devices include U-shaped slots, cam locks, pear-shaped slots, and cam levers. As an example, the traditional method of attaching a plate to a base plate often involves the use of bolts. These bolts must be completely removed in order to detach an old plate and install a new one. Instead, you could cut out an actual U-shaped slot into the plates that need to be exchanged. Then you can simply loosen the bolt and slide the plate away. This saves time and effort during the setup. The next few quick connectors, backstops, pins, and cam locks, are most often used to attach parts and position molds. One way of attaching molds is by using centering devices and clamps. This method requires time to attach the mold, time for the operator to find and place the clamps, and time to tweak the mold position. However, backstops for the mold to rest against and pin cam locks can be used instead. This keeps the mold in place and is much quicker than the old system. Other examples of quick connectors are cam action devices and swing clamps. Cam action devices allow for a quick turn to fix an item to an object, while swing clamps act as both a tool and a tightening device. For instance, swing clamps can be adapted with a tightening nut, so they can be swung into place and tightened with a single movement. Other areas that can benefit from the use of quick connection devices are the attachment and removal of machine coverings. Using quick connectors here will reduce the amount of time you need to check motors, fluids, or scrap accumulation. Pre-attached bolts, centering pins, and wedges can be used to quickly attach or remove covers. Wedges can be slid under bolts, centering pins can align the covering, then the wedges come to rest when everything is tightly in place. Other quick connection devices for machine coverings include pear-shaped slots, swing washers, and cam levers. Pear-shaped slots allow operators to simply loosen the nut and slide the cover off, while a swinging washer eliminates the need for a washer to be found and placed over a threaded bolt to attach a plate. It is simply swung into place and the cover is firmly attached. Cam levers, on the other hand, remove the need for a tool or bolt altogether with one easy motion. Other categories of internal activities that need to be addressed when looking to eliminate or quicken tasks are setting and tweaking. After a machine part has been attached, there is often a lot of adjusting and tweaking that occurs. These activities account for the majority of time wasted while performing the internal portion of a setup. Eliminating this wasted effort by doing less tweaking and adjusting, or none at all, can greatly reduce total change over time. The practical techniques to reducing or eliminating tweaking and adjusting often involve standardizing tools, jigs, molds, and dies. There are many aspects of molds and dies that can be standardized. Specifically, the outer dimensions of the mold or die, the stroke length, and the materials used can all be standardized. Traditionally, molds and dies were made to accommodate part characteristics. This allowed the process to get the best yield out of a die or mold. No consideration was given to the setup time and how they affected the overall cost of the part or the operation. 
If you are faced with this problem, you may need to retrofit or modify your molds and dies by adding shims or dowels to the edges in order to standardize their clamping heights. Think of other ways you may eliminate the need to adjust or tweak. If you use standard measurements, incorporate them into your production methods. Get rid of measuring marks and use alignment marks instead. Even better, design or redesign equipment so there is no need to align or adjust anything. This can be done by making simple changes like adding pins and stops to workstations so materials and parts can only be orientated one specific way every time. By adding pins and stopping plates in the right locations, the part can only be placed in the machine one way. These are known as pokeyoke devices or mistake proofing devices in English. Not only will this eliminate the need to adjust or tweak, it will greatly reduce errors and defects. Tweaking, adjusting and trials can account for up to 50% of internal setup time. The techniques described in this video are designed to help you eliminate these issues entirely. They simplify the attaching of parts, eliminate tweaking and limit the need for trial runs. The elimination of these steps is the ultimate goal of SMED and is essential to your setup reduction efforts and overall lean journey success.